She Hulk season two. <laughs> Unlikely. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Holy crap. Um, I rewatched that show recently so we could do this retrospective of She Hulk. And Jesus Christ, that show is bad. It is bad, bad, bad. Um, so, yeah. Ta- ta- Tatiana. I can never say her. I can never say any of these names, right? Tatiana. Tatiana. Tatiana Maslani. Uh, she was on a Twitch show. And. She was just randomly asked, like, hey, uh, you think season two is happening? She said, quote, I don't think so. I think we blew our budget, and Disney said, no thanks. I don't know, something fucking insane. The budget, so the budget was $225 million for She-Hulk. That's more yeah. than Avengers 1. <laughs> like, oh my god. That's Listen, man, insane. when your main character is almost all CGI... And you need to, and she, and you can't have her in it without having it CGI. Like it makes sense why each episode would be like uh, two twenty five million dollars each episode with a budget of two hundred twenty five. Like it makes sense why they would cancel that. You know, like there was no real in- return on investment there. There was really no thought process there to even create a show. Like She Hulk, the character, is a D, like. I'm not gonna say D, whatever, a C like level character at best. Like she's had some cool runs in the comics, but she has never been some, like she's never been her. You know, there's never been anybody that like oh. like there's no reason that there should have been a two hundred twenty five million dollar She Hulk show. I mean, if if it was done properly, I I would be way more on board with her, you know, appearing in future stuff and like it's just the show was written so bad. They they made She Hulk as a character completely unlikable. Like I don't know who the fuck was supposed to li- like like right off the bat in the first episode. I was like, I all I know about her is that she's a lawyer, she's Bruce's cousin, and she's a completely narcissistic and arrogant part. Like the way they wrote that show is like the world revolves around She Hulk, and it's like why? I don't even fucking care about her. I've seen her on screen for 20 minutes, and all you've told me is that she can do anything that the Hulk can, but better without any training or any obstacles. And then that scene at the end of the episode where um, she's talking to Bruce and she's like that whole uh, like the anger management. thing. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. I know how to manage my anger way better than you. And I was like, how can you unironically write a piece of dialogue like that where a character is telling the hulk that they're better at anger management a guy who has lived with (laughs) being turning into a giant green rage monster against his will for like fucking decades who tried committing suicide and we have to sit there and watch a character lecture him about anger management like what the fuck are you talking about yeah, you know, there was there was a, a whole piece that came out uh, a little bit after the She-Hulk show came out between a bunch of the producers and writers on the show. And uh, I, I, I didn't look it up for this. I just remember it being a big thing. And uh, one of the producers literally was quoted saying, like, uh, we made this show because we want to make, like, men uncomfortable. And we made this show with all female uh producers and writers to have a show for women to not be uh placated to the men eye As and in, like I, I i don't know the number of this but i would assume that the general audience for mcu content is for the majority male probably I, probably I, I i don't know what the mindset there is to just completely alienate most of your audience right off the bat but that's what they did, and then on top of that, they, they just wrote a shitty show. Like I mean, they did, they did a good fucking job of like of of exactly what I just said. Yeah. Like the majority of the show was to like make all the men stupid in the show, right? I don't think there was really one, but maybe Bruce, but he was made to look fucking stupid too a lot of times. Uh, if you go to that like that last two episodes with the therapy meeting, like. Oh yeah, Abomination is just doing it for money, and it's like, oh, he's still a bad guy, and it's like, oh, at the end they're all gonna fight because they're big men, and he's like, no, we're not gonna do that. It's like, <laughs> you know, and what? at 
it's just a real shame because I thought that uh, the lady that plays her, Tatiana Maslany or whatever, I yeah. I like her. I thought she was doing the best that she could with the material that she was given, but it was just badly written material. Like the character was unlikable. The situations I did not give a fuck about. Like it was literally like she's going to a wedding. No, and I'm like, I don't. What is the what is the point of this? Now they spent like, two hundred twenty five million dollars on this, and it's still like. Oh, hey, this is this is criticism for the CGI. I mean, I know we've we've now since then have heard about the CGI shit where they treat their people like ass. So you know what? Maybe I won't go as hard on them as as I as I would have. But like you know, it wasn't up to par for oh, what they this, were spending on the episode. The CGI looked like shit when she was yeah. like when she was She Hulk and like walking around. It did not look good, and which is really insane because there have been all CGI characters on screen before in Marvel stuff that have looked 20 times better than that. Fucking Thanos. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You... All of almost all of fucking uh, Shang-Chi was like CGI bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like, and there was not one point in that movie where I'm like, wow, that looks like ass. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, Ultron. <laughs> oh, we I mean we can go down the list of as many fucking characters as we can. It's just yeah. these Disney Plus shows have been very bad with CGI. Yeah. Uh, but like <laughs> the thing, my and also I know this is kind of the point, and maybe it's just like I think that the biggest difference here between this show and like say like a Barbie, like people watching Barbie are like. You know, made the show isn't made for you, the man, right? Like it's not if you're if you don't get it, you don't like it, like it's not made for you. And I can get that because you know, the mother, daughter, the toy Barbie is you know something that's you know for, I mean guys can play with it too, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's more for for females, right? That's that's what it's for. That's what it was made for, and that's what the, the movie was for. Like She Hulk, like She Hulk has the incredible hulk in it has daredevil and has abomination who had one of the still to this day has one of the best fights in the mcu with uh, hulk versus abomination uh it has a bunch of random side characters and it has like no fighting in this shit and it's like why are you gonna make a show that has characters that everybody should everybody can connect to and everybody can have you know feelings towards but make it only for like apparently make it only for like girls and separate, you know, make men feel, I guess, uncomfortable watching the show and then make us like, it's not like they don't have a gun to our heads being like, oh, yeah, you must feel this way if you watch the show. But it's like, that's how it, it kind of feels like it when you watch it as a guy. <laughs> like, I mean, not the entire show, but like, I don't know, man. Like, it's just odd. This is just an odd show to put think- that much bank into it and like, you know, and just why I think I think it's just um, it's a it's a real good way to just make people not like your shit anymore. You know, this yeah. is like this is like the crown jewel of the Disney plus like ass stuff. You know, like this is the crown jewel of like the uh, whole let's ramp up production and get as many stuff out on Disney plus as possible. This is the crown jewel of that. Of like, look at how shitty it can get. If you just don't fucking care about the writing or making a likable character or whatever, that's, this is it. Here you go. But, like, well, congratulations. You just flushed $225 million down the fucking toilet. Like let's, let's show uh, daredevil for the first time in years. And, uh, have to be a man or <laughs> I guess like have just, him just be like, oh, I'm just in town for a day. I think Daredevil was just an example of like they needed the other characters in this show to make it interesting because the characters that were introduced in the show were so uninteresting. Like I don't fucking care about Ooh. Jennifer Walters in this show because you're not showing me why I should. You're telling me why I should. You're not showing me that she's a good lawyer. You're telling me that she's a good lawyer. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're not showing me how she became good at being a Hulk because you're telling me she's good at being a Hulk because she just is. It's like, she's good at anger. 
<laughs> like, uh, well, that stuff would have made more sense if you showed me a guy like actually doing something bad to her in the office or like, you know, whatever else she was saying in that uh, that spiel where it's like my life is hard. Well, I haven't seen it, though. You're telling me it's hard. Like, show me that. And then that would make sense. That's the pay. That would be the payoff to there would be set up to that payoff. It was payoff with no setup. That's what that scene was. Yeah. It, you know, and that's just like, you could say that pretty much about every episode in this show. You know, it's just, it's telling me what I should be thinking about Jennifer Walters, not showing me why I should give a fuck about her. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we even mentioned the fact that the Sorcerer Supreme was just hanging out in this show too. Fucking you know, long. I, 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 did enjoy the uh Sopranos stuff. Yeah, just because I, did, I love I did Sopranos. Too. Like yeah. when yeah spoiler alert when uh that girl's like, oh this is the one where they kill Adriana and he's like just spoiled it. What the fuck? And that I was fucking watching the show. I was watching the show while he that was, was watching, happening. Nikos was watching Sopranos and got spoiled by Adriana ties when he, he saw this what in She dude. That's I fucking funny. knew that, man. I, yeah, dude. Like, I like the the thing is though, like, like as much, whatever. Fuck it. Like, some of these parts of the show, like, I think were like watchable, you know. But I think just, I don't know, man. It's like you could. I mean, maybe not every show can you could find like bright spots in it, but it's like there are some points in this show where it's like, I see what they were going for, for like the sitcom um, you know, kind of, you know, loosely based every episode. is like a continuity sort of thing. And it's like, you know, there's not really going to be a big fight at the end because like that was just a sitcom. You know what I mean? And if they would have went with like an MCU sitcom, like I would go for it, but don't try and give me, don't spend 225 million, have really shit CGI fights. It was to just, just like do whatever. Yeah, the the comedy really was not doing it for me in this show. It was it was not funny. The stuff that was supposed to be funny, I was like just it was cringe. It was really cringe. I was like the, the only like kind of endearing scene that I like that I think back on after watching the show and was like I actually kind of liked that was when um she goes to Abomination's house and they're having that like sit down like a group therapy session oh, yeah. I, I i it just enjoyed tim roth like in that role of like you know telling them all to calm the fuck you're like oh let her talk you know <laughs> just, yeah i i i would just love like quentin tarantino movies and seeing tim roth like doing that shit was kind of funny to me i don't yeah. know like, when he's usually just like blowing people's heads off and stuff <laughs> yeah that's what i mean like if, if they would have committed to the bit then like then it's fine. It's just they like I didn't. Have I think a they. Bit. I think they committed to it. I just think it was really poorly executed. The That's jokes. What I mean. The jokes were not funny. You know, they definitely committed to being a comedy, quote unquote. It just wasn't fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just this the show is it sucks. Sucks. But yeah, I, my, I were, my, but... my final grade is an F. <laughs> it's yeah very irredeemable i don't know yeah yeah see and we're not we're not even gonna go episode by episode this one this one's just bad uh yeah i give this shit enough i'm never gonna watch it again uh if they never made anything with she hulk again i wouldn't i wouldn't be sad you know? i don't care which is, is unfortunate is. man like you know i was reading that old secret wars comic and she hulk was in it and you know it's just like she could be cool. She could be a cool character to move forward with, like in the Hulk role. It's just you gave me such an ass version of it that I don't I don't even want to see her on screen anymore, which is a fucking shame, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh but what do you guys think? Are you guys uh you guys like She Hulk? <laughs> uh are you are you up are you upset I'm, that She Hulk sure episode that, season sure two is not coming out there who like it? You know, and you know what, Bob, Bob's your uncle. If you if you like if you like that, then you know, good good on you. You're I'm sure I'm sure the MC will make more things for you. Um, but if you are not into it, let us know why you're not into it. But if you are into it, also let us know as well. Tell us we're idiots. I don't care. Comment below. Uh, and while you're down there, leave a like.